Welcome to the 3D Ghost Universe, a place dedicated to 3D creation and 3D printing. In this video, I will try the post-processing option in Ultimaker Cura that will allow you to stop your print in order to change your filament and then to print a multi-colors object. So let's create a multi-floor simple object in Blender. Okay, so we have the first cube. Maybe it will be better... Here, you will be able to see what I'm doing, so I want to go in the front view. I will change the size of the cube. Okay, I don't want uh, anything huge for the moment, so maybe we will try uh, something like that. Uh, no, 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 no. It's too small. Mm. Okay, so this is the first floor. Copy, paste, or duplicate as you want, and I will do the second floor. I will activate the snapping tool on face, okay, on faces. So now I will change the size of it. Okay. Okay, for well, the second floor, snapping tool, no snapping tool, why it's not working? Oh, it's working, okay. Copy, past, grab, Z, repeat the operation. It's okay for me, I will try something different, maybe by merging here at the center okay time to adapt the shape oh i'm selecting what i want to export go to file to export to stl i will go to my folder So it's now time to open it in Cura, to resize it, to decide of the profile, of the quality of the print, and of course to do the post-processing in order to stop the print and to change the filament. Okay, 32 minutes, it will be good. So the next thing that I have to do is I need to, to have a preview and to decide when I want to change the color. So just have to take a look at the layer. And I will see when I want to change the color. Of course, I want one color per floor. So I will say that when a new floor is printing, so we can say right now. So 62 will be the first layer for changing the filament and we will repeat the operation for the other's colors. Okay, so now I have to do the script. So you have to go to Extensions, Post Processing, one choice to modify the G-code, and we will add a script. And it's a filament change script. So I want to change it for the first time at 62. I am not touching this, I want to try, it's a first, so I want to try with what uh, Ultimaker Cura is telling me to do. The X and the Y position Zero, it's perfect. The Z position, of course, will be the position of the last layer. So I'm adding the first script and now the second. 100. Still the same thing. And the last one. 137. OK. We closed. We now, now have the script. Right here, we have to slice in order to create a new G-code. And now we have to save it and to print. And finally, the result of the printing is this. As you can see, I decided to stop the print before the end because first the quality was not here and then the processing is quite boring. The first change of filament was not so easy and of course I knew it, 
but we have a little mix of colors because you cannot have a perfect clean extruder when you are changing the filament so quickly. What I want to say is that when you are changing a filament you need a high temperature, but the problem is that the printer is cooling the nozzle after only a few seconds, so you don't have enough time to extrude all the previous color in order to don't have this mix. So you have to push the button in order to have the higher temperature, you have few seconds to do it and then the temperature will go lower, so you have to push the button again. It's clearly not natural and to be honest it's quite boring. I am clearly disappointed with the result and I think that it's quite frustrating because it was a good idea but the realization is not good. But don't worry, I will share with you my solution in order to create a 3D printed object with various colors even if you have like myself a 3D printer with only one extruder. You have two real options. The first one is to create multi-parts object that you will print in various color and it will be the subject of the next video part 2. And the second one is to print in white and to work on it with the painting. And you can find on the channel a video about this post-processing work.